Hey, it's the Ultimate Handyman. Today I wanted to share with you this Starlink satellite dish installation I did for a customer. Before we start the video, can you do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel? It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out a lot. So my customer hired me to install his Starlink satellite dish on top of his pergola. He was worried about his dog and his kids possibly knocking it over and damaging it. And he also had me install the cabling into some electrical conduit because he was also worried about uh, rodents chewing on the cabling because they do live out in the country and there are a lot of uh, critters around that like to uh, chew on things. So unfortunately, the Starlink satellite dish cable cannot be removed from the satellite dish itself. It's one piece. So if something were to damage the cable, you'd have to replace the entire satellite dish, which does kind of suck. I hope SpaceX works on that and makes it so you can actually unplug the cable. It would actually make it a lot easier to install it if you are running it through some type of conduit. Uh, so hopefully the SpaceX engineers figure this one out. So the first thing I did was I disconnected the base of the satellite dish by pressing these two buttons. There's one on each side. You just push them in and you can pull the dish right off of it. And that way it makes it a lot easier to mount. I don't have to lug the whole dish up there and worry about it falling over while I'm trying to mount the base. So the next thing I did was I attached the satellite dish base to the pergola. So I actually got lucky here. The legs lined up perfectly with the wood. Now, originally I was going to use some three inch stainless steel deck screws with some washers to hold it down. But the satellite dish base sticks up about an inch. So there would only be about two inches going into the wood. And I was kind of worried of the screws possibly pulling out uh, during a really high windstorm. So I ended up using some six inch by quarter inch uh, lag screws to hold the satellite dish down. That way I, I don't have to worry about it blowing over in a windstorm. So after putting the satellite dish in its base, I started installing the one inch electrical conduit. Now the reason I chose that size is because the Starlink satellite dish cable has two thick parts on the cable. One is closest to the satellite dish and the other one is closest to where it plugs into your computer setup. Now the one that's closest to your computer setup is actually three quarters of an inch wide and the one near the satellite dish is about seven eighths of an inch wide and I wanted to make sure that I had enough playroom to get these things through my 90 degree bends in the conduit. Normally when I run wire through an electrical conduit I'll run the entire length of the conduit and then I will stick some type of fish tape through the conduit hook it to the wire and pull it through but since I had so many uh, 90 degree elbows and I also had a transition to where the wire went into the house and down into the wall I wasn't able to do it in one shot so I pulled it in sections so I glued the uh, section on the pergola first and then I pushed the wire through that and then I fed all of the 90s uh, through the wire and then I actually glued it while the wire was uh, in the conduit and that made it so I can easily get it through without having it get hung up because of those two thick ends on the cable. So the last thing I had to do to get the cable into the house was to drill a hole on the outside of the house and to cut a hole for an electrical low voltage box on the inside. Now the hole on the outside of the house was fairly easy. I had to make sure that there were no studs uh, in the way of the hole. So that was the first thing I did. I measured that about three times just to double check because I definitely didn't want to drill a hole in the wrong spot and then have to come back and patch the stucco and paint. So always measure uh, twice or three times or four times just so you can make sure you get it right. Now when I drilled the hole, I didn't have the right size drill bit. So what I did is I, I drew a line around the conduit tight against the stucco and then I drilled my hole I think I had like a, a three quarter inch uh, masonry drill bit and I just used the masonry drill bit the edge of it and slowly worked my way around the stucco and I whittled whittled all the stucco out of the way 
And then once I got the stucco out, I just took a spade drill bit and punched through the plywood and it made a nice tight fit on the pipe. Now, if I were to do this part differently, I think I would install some type of electrical box right where it goes into the house just to make it easier uh, if, if there was a failure on the satellite dish uh, to remove the cabling. But you know, if it, it does fail, we can always pull this piece of uh, pipe out and uh, redo it if that ever happens. So I used some glow sticks to pull the cable through the wall and get it into the house. Now I inserted the glow stick from the hole I drilled on the outside and fished it down through the wall. And then I had my customer reach inside and grab it for me and pull it through. Then I connected the cable to it and then he slowly pulled the glow stick in while I fed the cable very carefully into the wall because I didn't I wanted to make sure that the cable didn't get marred or hung up on that sharp hole that I cut uh, through the stucco. So the last thing I did was put some silicone on the end of the conduit where the cabling goes in just to keep water out of the conduit. So before my customer got the Starlink satellite system, he said he had, I think he had HughesNet, and he said the internet was absolutely terrible out where he lives, and he was paying a lot of money for it, and it was just absolutely terrible, and he couldn't get good service. And then once he got the Starlink system, he said it changed everything. He's able to stream movies, uh, watch videos on the internet without any buffering, and it's just been amazing for him. And it's really nice that SpaceX came out with this because I was dreading moving to the country and not having high-speed internet. So when I move out to the country, I'm definitely going to be getting a Starlink satellite system for my house. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you found some value in this video or if you learned something, please share it with your family and friends. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you the next project. And don't forget to check out my other videos here.